Hi, my name is Xiao Hao Chen. I'm with the Department of ECE at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. The topic I'm going to share with you today is the design of Bailey's permanent magnet motors using low voltage combined windings. This figure shows the Bailey's motor prototypes reported in the literature with their measured power and measured efficiencies. As we can see, current prototypes haven't reached the desired range of over 100 kW and over 95% efficiency. We believe that reaching the desired range indicates the potential of the bearless motors to be able to really make an impact on the industrial applications of significant power. A typical industrial application for bearless motor is a centrifugal compressor. This is a conventional implementation of it, where the rotor shaft is supported with lubricated mechanical bearings and a gearbox is used to drive the compressor wheel. A modern solution is a magnetically levitated direct drive system. The benefit is that the rotor shaft supporting system won't get in the way of the motor drive, and the rotor shaft can spin to higher speeds so as to get rid of the gearbox. We anticipate that one or more magnetic bearings can be removed if the regular motor is replaced with a balanced motor. Recall the literature review from last slide, we come to the first question that this paper tries to answer. Can we make a bearings motor have the same performance as one using magnetic bearings? Along this question, I would like to summarize the two key contributions of this paper. We report candidate optimal designs that achieve over 95% efficiency while requiring less than 5% of slot space for suspension purpose. This means the bearings motor can have close performance as one using magnetic bearings. The key technique here is the no voltage combined state winding. Following the first question, a second question is that are there inherently better slot pole combination that will be more advantageous than others? To answer this, we explore the design space of six slot pole combinations as listed in the table here. For each slot pole combination, a different no voltage combined winding must be designed. This is one kind of power electronics for no voltage combined windings, where no voltage means the suspension inverter will see no back EMF due to torque excitation, and combined means the same winding will be used for both torque and suspension purposes. For each slot pole combination, the winding design process determines where the coil should belong to the red coil group or the green coil group for each phase. For example, the winding design process involves involves first joining the star of slots at torque frequency and then reverse the phasers in the negative zone to determine, for example, phase, phase U coils. Finally, we draw the second plot at suspension frequency to determine which coils belong to the red coil group here. Since this is not the contribution of this paper, we encourage curious readers to read the paper for more inf information. For example, how to determine the coil pitch. With the state winding design available, we are now ready to configure the FEA. The FEA will be called during optimization. The FEA tool we use is the 2D electromagnetic FEA in JMAG Designer. The FEA will take state excitation from a no voltage combined winding as input where 95% of slot current is used for torque while the left 5% is for suspension. The operating frequency depends on the motor's popular number, and the 29 gauge M19 steel and the N40H magnet are assumed. Unlike an induction machine, a PM motor design can be evaluated with a series of static FE at different rotor positions if we assume there is no rotor current induced. However, since the magnet is not laminated, and it is conductive, so there will be eddy current induced in the magnet, and this can be captured with the transient FEA. This contour plot shows typical current density value in ma permanent magnets. Green means no current, red and blue mean positive and negative current respectively. The maximum value is 2 amps per millimeter squared, which is about half of state current density. So the conclusion here is that we want to use transient FEA to accurately model the magnet eddy current effect. This phenomenon might affect suspension force performance and operating efficiency calculations. These are typical suspension force waveforms obtained in an expedited transient FEA with large time step size.
two cases are considered. The red trace corresponds to the case of no magnetic eddy current, and we can see there is almost no transient in the force profile, while the black curve corresponds to the case of allowing magnetic eddy current, and there is notable transient in the force profile. Note that the steady state values between these two cases are remarkably different. In conclusion, the magnet eddy current is bad for suspension. As for torque, we see that there are no difference between these two cases, meaning that static FEA would also be accurate enough for torque performance calculations. During optimization, the transient FEA is di actually divided into two sections. During 0 to 6 milliseconds, the time step size is large, and this allows the eddy current in magnet to quickly reach steady state. While in the second time step section, uh, as shown in the shaded region here, the time step size is small and all the motor performance metrics are calculated here. Based on the FEA tool, we are now ready to perform the optimization. The design specifications are 50 kW and 30,000 RPM. The FEA based optimization will be repeated for different slot pole combinations. Note that we should avoid selecting appropriate number for torque and suspension to be equal to phase number, which is 3. We recommend the, to pick a coil page Y such that the torque winding factor is larger than 0 0.87, while the suspension winding factor could be lower than that. Particularly, the highlighted Q6P2 design and Q12P4 designs are fractional slot windings, and they have coil pitch Y equal to 1. We are going to explore different windings potential by searching in their design space. The design space is defined in terms of 9 geometric parameters as listed here. We will show later that state to span alpha ST is a particularly interesting and unique parameters for various motors. When searching in the design space, motor designs that violate these ripple performance constraints are discarded. The motor ripple performance metrics include torque ripple, force error magnitude, and force error angle. The force error is unique to balance motors. At any time instant, the radial suspension force applied to the rotor can be modeled as a 2D vector. These force error quantities are worst case values which are evaluated over an entire rotor revolution while trying to create a constant force, er force vector. Particularly, force error angle is defined as the angle between the most deviated force vector and the desired force vector. Three objectives are defined in optimization. They are active material cost, efficiency, and uh, a weighted sum of these three performance uh, repo performance metrics. This approach is effective to keep the search process in low dimension space. The MOEAD algorithm is adopted in this paper. Before we show the optimization results, the concept of Pareto dominance should be first introduced. In this 2D example, two objectives are defined, F1 and F2. In this figure, one says A and B dominate C for having smaller F1 and F2 values. Points like A and B make up a set of points called Pareto front. We are going to have six Pareto fronts for each slot pole combinations. This figure presents optimization results of all six slot pole combinations. For each combination, over 4,000 of individuals are evaluated, but only the individuals at a Pareto front are marked in this figure based on the three calculated objective values. The x-axis is cost, y-axis is negative efficiency, while the color of the scatter points uh, indicates repo performance sum. From this figure, we realize that marker 6 and marker 5 are particularly interesting to look at. The marker 5 or the Q12P4 design has very low cost and very low repo performance sum, while the marker 6 or the Q24P1 design has the highest efficiency, which is most likely due to the low operating frequency. We will select one design for each slot pole combinations for further analysis. 
This table summarizes the performance metrics of the six selected optimal designs. We are mostly interested in the last two designs because their force error angle values are less than 10 degrees. The Q12 P4 design has the lowest torque ripple, force error magnitude, and force error angle. It also has a force per rotor weight value that is larger than 1. This, ma this means the motor can lift the rotor weight with 5% of slot current. It has the highest torque density, but its cost is higher than Q24 P1 design. This is most likely due to the high price of the permanent magnet. Finally, the efficiency of the Q12 P4 design is lower than Q24 P1 design. And the loss breakdown plot shows the iron loss and the magnet loss of the Q12 P4 design account for 77% of the total loss. While for the Q24 P1 design, the magnet loss is negligible. Next, the force capability for versus suspension current is shown for both selected optimal designs. The maximum force aggregated current for Q12 P4 design is about 20 times of the rotor weight. The linearity indicates both motor designs are good bearingless motor candidates. In the second plot, the force error angle of the Q12 P4 design decreases as suspension current increases, which is a great property because we expect a good balance design mode to have a force error angle less than 6 degrees. Finally, let's put the performance metrics aside and take a look at the cross-sectional view of the two preferred designs. This is the selected Q12 P4 designs, and this is the selected Q24 P1 design. Note that these two designs have very distinct state to step shapes. The Q12 P4 design has a very wide slot shape, while the Q24 P1 design has an almost closed slot shape. Why do different two-step shapes happen for different slot pole combinations? But before we dive into analysis, let's first define a variable def denoted as alpha ST star. This is a straight slot, and its two-span value alpha ST is defined as a alpha ST star. If the tooth span value alpha st is larger than alpha st star, we would have a semi-closed slot shape. Otherwise, we would have a pointed tooth shape if alpha st value is smaller than alpha st star. We have conducted a parameter sensitivity analysis to alpha st for two optimal designs, where alpha st is changed while all other geometric parameters are the same. For the Q12 P4 design, the smaller alpha ST value is, the smaller the ripple performance sum becomes. So, a wide pointed slot shape occurs. However, for the Q24 P1 design, the ripple performance sum takes lower value if a larger alpha ST value is used. This leads to a closed slot shape design. To determine whether these two slot shapes are representative of each topology, the histogram plot of LST values of over 70 Pareto front optimal designs are presented. As we can see, for the Q12 P4 design, if a design has a OC value less than 3, it is likely to have a small LST value. As for Q24 P1 design, however, only 2 out of 75 designs have small alpha ST values. In conclusion, the state slot span angle alpha ST is an important geometric parameter for bearless motors. In summary, we have revisited the design process of a DPLV winding. We have proposed design optimization framework that takes suspension force error metric and magnet loss into account. The transient FEA is essential to capture magnet loss in Q12 P4 design. We have explored the potential of the six motor slot pole combinations. We also presented an in-depth analysis of two selected optimal designs. Finally, we provided evidence that the two-step span value alpha SD 
is significant for business motors. Finally, our answers to the two questions raised before summarize our contributions. First, can we make the motor levitate without degrading the motor performance? Yes, with 5% of slot space for suspension current, the optimized bearless motor is found to reach the desired range for industrial application. Second, are there inherently better slot pole combinations? The answer is yes, the optimal Q12P4 designs are found to inherently yield substantially better performance than other slot pole combinations. Thank you.